We want to find the slope of a line that contains each of these points, and we also want to indicate if that the line the points form, if it rises, falls, if that line is horizontal or if it's vertical. So here's the first set of points, negative 1, 3, and 2, 4. In order to find the slope, we want to use the slope formula. That's the change in y over the change in x. So for this, I'm going to label this as x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to put them into the slope formula. So I have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the formula we're using. Okay, so I have y2 minus y1, that's 4 minus 3. And then for the other one, I have 2 minus negative 1. Be careful with your negatives there. We have a double negative. That's going to give you 1 on top, and the bottom, it's going to give you 3. So I get a positive slope. If I have a positive slope, it rises. If I have a negative slope, it's going to be falling. So in this case, I have rises because as I go from left to right, Left to right, the line is going to be increasing or going up. That's why we say it's rising. Next, we have these set of points. Once again, I'm going to label them x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to use the same formula again, the slope formula. Change in y over change in x. y2 minus y1, I have negative 1 minus negative 1. In the bottom, I have 3 minus 4. I get 0 on top over negative 1. Now, if 0 is on the top, 0 over anything is going to be 0, so therefore I get 0. If you have a slope of 0, that means that it's going to be horizontal. That's a horizontal line. Last one. Each of these, I'm also going to do x1 and y1, x2 and y2. I'm going to put them into the slope formula. Change in y over change in x. I have negative 5 minus negative 2. Be careful with the negatives. On the bottom, 3 minus 3. On top, I get negative 5 plus 2. That's negative 3. On the bottom, I get 0. Okay, so this time, if I'm dividing anything by 0, that's always going to be undefined. So therefore, if I get an undefined slope, that means that this line is going to have to be vertical.